This is an exercise to practice two finger combinations in the right hand for free stroke. Free stroke is when you pluck the string and you miss the next adjacent string. So if I'm counting from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's the name of the strings. If I pluck the third string, I'm gonna miss the fourth, fifth, and sixth, the strings closer to my face. So I'm gonna show you the correct way to position your right hand to get a beautiful free stroke that has a nice rich sound. Okay, let's get to it. There are three points I want you to watch for when you're doing free stroke. One is really make sure those knuckles are over the strings. This is a point that I constantly bring up with my, my students. They think their knuckles are over the strings and they're still too far back like this. So you want this knuckle joint right here. I'm gonna bring my hand down so you can see. If you put a line from this knuckle joint to the tip joint where the tip hits the string and imagine a line there that should make a right angle to the soundboard. Okay, now it's too angled back. That is the amount you want to be over. And that's because when you do the natural swing of the finger, you're going to miss the string. If you're too far back, you're going to have to lift the finger to miss the next string, which is very common. So that's the first thing. Uh, but before I go on, th there are players that do have their knuckles slightly back that are amazing players. And they're working from this basal seg segment of the finger is, is over the string. They're still working from the knuckle joint, but there's a little bit of a bend at this middle joint as they come in. So you see this coming in, but you also see a little bend in the, the middle joint. There's a lot of great players that play like, that way, so it's perfectly acceptable if you do it. I don't play that way. I find it much simpler to just think of the knuckle joint being over the string and swinging the finger like this. The second thing is the wrist and hand should be relaxed and still. So no tension. Do not feel this part getting tight when you're, you're contacting the string and you don't want your hand moving in any way. The most common thing is the hand to move away from the guitar when you play like this, or to drop the wrist like that as you pluck the note, so it's like this. So we wanna make sure the fingers are swinging. That's the third thing. You wanna make sure the fingers are swinging from this knuckle. So now that I'm set upright, the finger is naturally going to swing from the knuckle and miss the next string. If I'm slightly back and try to do that, I'm going to hit the next strings. Unless I come up like this or bend from the middle joint, which thins out the sound. If I go like this, a lot of people will do this. They think they're playing a free stroke and they're actually, you start to pluck the string, you start to get that twangy sound. In. And to get the beautiful tone, you don't want to set the string in motion this way. You want it to set the string parallel in motion parallel to the soundboard. So the motion, the be, good way to test it is take your finger and on the basal segment, this part, and press it like it's a button and have the tip touch the thumb muscle right here. That part is pushing in. And you try for each different finger. Yeah. All right, let's get to the exercise. So I'm going to put the fingers on the strings. I'm going to put P on the sixth string, the thumb, I on the third string, M on the second string, and A on the first string. When the thumb moves, you're moving from this joint here, and, and it's just, again, it's like squeezing a ball, that motion like that. So I'm gonna start with P and I, they're in front of the strings, and then they come in. 
It next comes to touch the thumb muscle and the thumb is coming to make a cross on the side of the index. So remember not to drop your wrist. Making sure that the knuckle is really over the string each time. P and M. That's on the second string. And now P and A. Now we're gonna do I and M on the third and second string. Make sure the knuckle's over. So after I make the motion, you can relax, let the fingers relax. Now we're gonna do M A on the first and second string. And then I A. I would exaggerate and actually touch your thumb muscle. I, I don't play that way, but at the beginning it's good to do that to exaggerate to feel it. And then later it should just miss that, just go sh just short of touching that thumb muscle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments below and any questions you have. Happy practicing! <laughs>